Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today, I want to talk about an exciting new product from Glock. And I put those in quotations because it's not really that new. And depending on who you are, might not be that exciting. What's happening is Glock is bringing the G28, the Glock 28, to the U.S. market. Now, some of you might be familiar with the 28 and some of you might not. Those that are are probably like, well, what's this matter? Why do we care? Who would care? This is kind of a silly move. Why are they doing this? But people who aren't familiar might be interested in finding out what's going on here. Well, what's happening is Glock has made a gun overseas for years that they just haven't been able to bring to this country because of some weird import rules. It's the same rules that make a lot of guns have to be uh, modified to be imported and then changed when they get here. Like the snub-nosed uh, Chiapa Rhinos. They come in with a longer barrel, and then when they get here, they cut the barrel down, replace it with a smaller barrel so that it's shorter. When it comes in, it's got a little black barrel sticking out of the end of it uh, because the importation rules are weird. So they haven't been able to bring the G28 over here because of the caliber. You see, it is a, a 380 caliber pistol. And if it's a 380 caliber, you know, it's not at least a nine millimeter. It's gotta be, have a barrel length of a certain blah, blah, blah. It's just weird rules. It's gotta be a certain weight. It's just kind of all kinds of weird stuff. It was meant to stop Saturday night specials from coming into the country, or so they say. It was really just to cripple a certain industry. But uh, like I said, they're bringing the G28 to market. They're gonna start producing it in their US plant. Now, what it is basically is it is a G26, except it's chambered in 380. And now they're gonna make them here and sell them. They're only making a limited number of them. They're not making a whole bunch. So you might be asking yourself, well, why are they doing this? Especially people that were already familiar with the gun. They're like, why are they bringing this in? Why does it matter? Because all this really is, is if you're saying I want a G28, what you're really saying is, you know what? I would like a G26, but I would like the round to be far less capable. I'd like it to be an inferior round, but I'd like it to be the same diameter so that the gun only holds the same number of that round. And on top of that, not only would I like it to be less powerful and have the same capacity, I'd like it to cost more and be harder to find that caliber. I'd like that caliber to be more expensive and harder to find. That's basically a G28 in a nutshell because it's a 380 version of a nine millimeter gun that already exists. Now, a lot of people will make the argument, but, oh, but some people will want the 380 because of recoil. 380 recoil is less, so they'll want it over the nine millimeter. You know, that doesn't make a lot of sense because here's the thing, you can get nine millimeter so loaded down that it isn't much different than shooting 380. And you can use that to practice, but when you carried it, you could carry regular nine millimeter or even nine millimeter plus P. So there's really not a good argument for this gun in 380. Uh, my sister likes that round, what is it, from Hornady? I think it's from Hornady, that has the little pink Susan B. Coleman, which is a huge ripoff, by the way, never support Susan B. Coleman. Uh, rounds that are really loaded down for ladies. Uh, so you can get things like that, so 380 makes no sense. So you might be asking yourself, well, why are they doing this? Is this some weird money grab or what is it? No, really what it is, is if you pay attention, it's kind of a thank you to a lot of their more serious customers. A lot of people collect Glocks. They don't just buy the one Glock they need for carry or one for carry and maybe one for backup. They try to buy like all of them. They want one of every model. There are collectors out there. I'm a bit of a collector myself. And being a collector doesn't mean you're also not a shooter. It just means that you go beyond people who shoot. Maybe you have a more of an appreciation of the firearm itself. So Glock is doing this because there are a lot of Glock collectors out there that have not been able to get the G28 for their collection. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna make some of them here in country in a limited number, and that way those serious collectors have a chance of getting them. I can't imagine they're gonna make any money off of this. The time and effort it takes to spool up making them here and marketing them here and transporting them here is probably not gonna be made up in the number of guns they make, but they're gonna make a lot of collectors very happy. And I think that's what this kind of is. I think this is kind of a thank you to the Glock collectors. It's the Glock company saying, you know what? We got a lot of money 
And we know you people put a lot of your money into our product, which allows us to have a lot of money. So for once, we're going to do something nice. Maybe not just for once, but we're going to do something for the collector, for our market. That's the only thing I can see about this. I can't see it as a money grab or any kind of marketing campaign or anything like that. It's just basically, hey, our big fans have known this gun existed for years. They've wanted it. So we're going to make enough of them here in country that the really big collectors will have a chance at getting a hold of one at a regular price. That's all I can see is happening here. So those people that are like, it's stupid. It makes no sense. The 380s are on their way out. You got 30 super now and you got nine millimeter guns that are just as small as 380 guns. So it doesn't make sense. And if you look at it like that from a practical standpoint, you're right. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. When it does make sense is when you look at it as a Glock, knows there's people out there that want one of everything and they're trying to make it possible by bringing some of these over uh, within legal limits. You know, they still can't give you fully auto ones or anything like that, but they can give you the G28. And I think that's what they're doing as kind of, like I said, a thank you to their loyal customers. Hey everybody, before I go, I want to remind everyone out there, if you have applied for TYM Triple P in the month of March, Come to the live chat today. I'm going to be announcing the winner's names, the recipient's names. So come on in today. If you have registered to be a recipient, come tonight and listen. Now tonight, the chat is going to be at a different time than usual. It's going to be at five o'clock instead of six o'clock. It's usually six o'clock on Fridays, but I am going roller skating tonight for the first time in a very long time. We used to roller skate two to three times a week. Haven't done it in years since the pandemic going back tonight. So wish me luck and hope I don't fall down and break my ass bone uh, because I haven't been on wheels in a while. Well, other than cars and stuff, motorcycles, but not roller skates. So like I said, wish me luck. But uh, if you have applied to be a beneficiary, show up tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific time, special time. Also, if you want to be a part of TYM Triple P, if you want to be one of the people that makes it possible, go on over to my Patreon account and choose one of the tiers over there and become a patron of the channel that supports TYM Triple P. So go on over and do that. There's a link in the upper corner of this video where you can do that. And with that being said, I am out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed the show today and I hope to see you again on Monday. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again. Uh, what is special about it? Well, <laughs> is it is basically, <laughs> this up already. Now, a lot of you right now be, might be saying, why can I not talk? I want to discuss a new topic. Not a new topic, new product. Hey everybody, Yankee here. Just wanting to remind everyone, if you want to support this channel and the programs that we sponsor, or you just want some official Yankee Marshall Posse merchandise, you can go over to tympistolproject.com and there is a wide selection of merchandise over there. Pick yourself out something, buy yourself something nice, Anytime you buy a t-shirt, you get two entries into this month's friend drawing. You buy any other item, you get one entry into this month's friend drawing and all profits go to the Pets and Vets Fund that we support. So go on over, get yourself some merch, help save an animal in need and maybe win a prize. Hey everyone, Yankee here. You know, in my videos, we often cover some complicated subjects. Subjects with a lot of gray area. So if you would like to further discuss anything said in my videos, please join us in one of my live chats. Live chats are held most days at 6 p.m. Pacific time, except for Monday and Wednesday when they are at 5 p.m. Pacific. There is a clickable link to the live chats in the upper right-hand corner of this video. If you disagree with anything I've said in a video, feel free to participate in Spank the Yank. You can come on the live discussion panel and let me know face-to-face -face how I was wrong.